If you're an American, chances are you're bending over all wrong. When Americans reach down, they're likely to first tilt their heads down and then bend from the waist. This contorts the body into a cashew-like shape. Not only is it uncomfortable, bending this way increases the stress on your spinal discs. These joints weren't designed to bend that way. Their job is to stabilize, not move the spine. And over time, it can weaken the collagen fibers in your spine and cause back pain. The position might also cause your muscles to tighten and get tense. Might not seem like a big deal, but a little back pain can cause a lot of problems. According to a recent report by the CDC, nearly 30% of American adults reported having lower back pain within the past three months of the study. And the same investigation found that lower back pain is the leading cause of disability in Americans under 45. Lower back pain can also affect your mental health. A study by the American Academy of Pain Medicine found that adults with lower back pain are more than four times as likely to experience serious psychological distress compared to people without lower back pain. And contrary to popular belief, lifting with your legs isn't any better. If you lift with your legs, you will uh, become very tired in the uh, legs. You'll stress the knees uh, and the ankles. So it's much more physiologically demanding. The overarching issue, it seems, is that Americans have a habit of poor posture and alignment. But strangely, people from other countries don't have this problem. At least, not until recently. You have to get into smaller and smaller villages because, because of media, everybody around the world has access to United States pop culture. And almost all pop culture is the body is completely collapsed. So we're exporting this posture all around the world. Couch has observed that people in Peru, Guatemala, and other non-Western cultures tend to bend using a technique that protects your spine. So in the United States, people bend like this. So the back is rounded, and people who are safe, they bend like this. In this technique, you bend from the hips, keeping your back parallel to the floor. Why is this better for you? It all starts with how your hips are designed to move. These joints work like a ball and socket, so they freely swing back and forth. As a result, they can withstand a lot more force than your spinal discs, which aren't made to handle repeated movements. When overstressed, these discs can separate and lead to disc herniation. So how can you get in the habit of table bending? Stand up and put your heels 12 inches apart and put your toes 14 inches apart. Um, so put your hands on your waist. So if you bend here, it's dangerous. It wears out your disc and makes your back tense. So where you want to bend is not at your waist, but you want to bend in your hip. So we have a shortcut that we use, and here it is. If you were Adam in the Bible, Adam in the Bible, where would you put a fig leaf? So you put a fig leaf here. So when you bend, you want your fig leaf to go through your legs. And then the spine just comes along with and goes up and down. Good luck. And remember, cashew chic is not a good look for your back. <laughs>